It is possible to leave a place, but there are some places that will never leave you. Though Farid Omar would eventually find escape from the terrible civil wars of his homeland, the legacy left by his experiences in Somalia will be with him forever. Yet extraordinary circumstances often shape the most extraordinary individuals. In Somalia, dislocated from friends and family who fled to escape the violence and fighting, Farid was powerless to ease their burdens or change their plight. So basically, uh, I fled for my life and uh, there was too much uh, destruction, uh, loss of life and property back home. And I did lose uh, a lot of people there, family, relatives and friends. And it was a very, very destructive, uh, destructive uh, civil war. And as we speak, the, the civil war is still ongoing since he started in 1991. After his arrival, Farid was still living with the shock and trauma that are the burdens of a survivor. But it was not long before Farid began to discover that he had the power to make change, that in Canada, he could help in ways that were impossible in his homeland. Canada is a safe haven for us, whereby uh, fleeing a civil war, you can attain a refuge in this country and whereby your rights, even as a ref refugee, are respected, and as a community as well, and your right to, to life and to existence, and to seek protection uh, from dangerous situations as it was back home. Farid found strength in knowledge. He began upgrading his high school courses, earning his OAC credits, and preparing himself with a pre-university course at Woodsworth College where he was awarded the Woodsworth College Students Association Scholarship and the Peter Silcox Scholarship in Public Administration. Fareed was admitted to the University of Toronto in 1995. He was named a Dean's List Scholar four consecutive times, and from 1996 to 1998, he served as a panel member of the University Tribunal. Fareed's desire to make change manifested itself in his many pioneering activities on campus and beyond. Uh, I founded the Pan-African Student Network, PASNET, which is an intellectual forum uh, which promotes Pan-African identity on campus and also the interest of uh, uh, black students on, on campus, and it seeks to improve the lives of those students on campus. In 1997, he was involved in the development of the Somali Student Link, an organization to assist Somali high school students in making the transition to post-secondary education. And we, as pioneers, students at the at universities, we are the first bunch of Somali students who found ourselves in Canadian post-secondary institutions. We had the responsibility to help these children, I mean these young people, because most of them uh, don't have a good sense of self-esteem. So we have to build their confidence, their self-esteem, and help them through this difficult process and uh, to make the transition, because education is crucial in the process of adaptation and integration into this country. Despite his many community activities, Fareed managed to be an outstanding student, and in 1997, he was presented with the prestigious Golden Key National Honor Society Award. For several years, Fareed served as an executive for the African Canadian Student Association and worked on campus for the African Community Health Services and UNAIDS International. And as you know, that AIDS now is a very serious problem for the African community all over the world. And uh, I feel that I should do something about it at personal and community level to combat this. I was also awarded the Ruth uh, Raffenstein Book Prize in African Studies uh, because I hosted an international student conference. I coordinated an international student conference at the University of Toronto last year and participants came from all over the world, uh, from Africa, from North America, from Caribbean, from Canada. And this is a Pan-African conference which brings together people of African descent, both from the continent and uh, in the diaspora. And it was hailed as one of the most successful international student events at the conference. In recognition of his academic accomplishments and his record of community service, Fareed was presented with the Peter F. Bronfman Award and the Gordon Cressy Student Leadership Award. In 1999, Fareed graduated from the University of Toronto with a Bachelor of Arts Honours degree. 
He is also a founding member and the coordinator of the Horn of Africa Relief Society. The objective is to help the peoples of this region who arrive in Canada as newcomers and also try to do something uh, to help those who are left behind by soliciting support on their behalf. So that the, the basic idea was about helping refugees. Fareed is an advisor to the Metro Toronto Housing Authority's Resident Advisory Council, which works to help curb levels of crime and safeguard residents. Currently, he is the director of the Ogaden Somali Community Association. Okay, I, I oversee the overall activities of the office uh, to oversee project uh, impl implementation. We have different projects and uh, various programs within the community and also to make sure that service uh, provision goes on smoothly in the settlement and integration uh, processes. Even all these years after leaving Somalia behind, Somalia has never left Farid, and his experiences there have made him determined to use the power he has as a Canadian to give his community the help they so desperately need. I came in a fallen state, a collapsed state, so I know what a broken society is, what a broken society entails, the hardships and difficulties it brings to an individual, their family, their friends, and the community uh, at large. Farid Omar has done something, something extraordinary, giving his time, energy, and passion to healing.